I'm Lashana Levin, Realtor with KW United. So today's video is for homeowners that have recently gone through a divorce or you're in the middle of a divorce situation. What a lot of homeowners are not aware of is usually in a divorce, I would say most 90% of the time, the home is awarded to one of the spouses. So great. Well, this, you know, Jane ended up getting the house from John. So Jane still lives there. Wonderful. But when they purchased the home, Jane and John were on the mortgage and they're also on the deed. So on paper, this is what, you know, the, the lawyers kind of missed something. You know, I, I like lawyers or whatever attorneys, but once the divorce is final, this is a step that's missing that nobody really talks about. So that's why I want to talk about it. So it's like, oh, well, it's my house, you know, whatever. Everything's fine. You know, whatever the agreement was, if the person has the house, if they're paying the mortgage, whatever. That's fine. The issue comes around is when John no longer lives there, wants to buy another home because he's getting married again or whatever, he wants to buy a home with someone else or on his own. He's not able to do that because he's on this other house with his ex-wife. So in order for that to basically happen easily is she will have to either refinance it in her name and what that means is she's going to have to qualify for the home on her own. And more than likely, I would say maybe 50% of the time, most of Americans buy real estate with dual incomes. So they're not buying the home based on one income. They're buying it together. That's why they bought it together. So what that means is Jane is not going to be able to qualify in order to especially to buy him out, whatever the agreement is. But if she's not able to refinance that, then John now can take her back to court and say, hey, we need to sell this. I, he can demand the sale of a house because I need to move on with my life or whatever. Or if it was Jane to John and John was to live in there, whatever. But a lot of people are not aware of that. So when you are getting a divorce, it's important to figure out what that looks like. I would say that just needs to be um, added to your divorce is go ahead and figure out what that looks like. Get the person off of the deed and get the home refinanced. And if you can't refinance the home, then you need to go ahead and sell it. Because most of the time that is what occurs. That's what's going to have to happen. So also disclaimer, I am not an attorney. This is just a recommendation from what I have seen over the years in real estate. Make it a great day. For more real estate advice, give me a call at 240-284-4114.